I have no idea who she is. $91 million. This is a corrupt system we're in. And I think the people are understanding it. If you look at the polls, the people of our country are understanding it. Thank you very much. What do you mean by Michael You can figure that one out easily. Are you going to keep posting about Michael Cohen? All right, there you have it, defendant Donald J. Trump, the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. Boy, I wish they'd wire for sound that, uh, that lobby at the courthouse there if we're going to be doing this for the next few weeks. They're really not making this easy for the uh, American people to try to understand what exactly is going on. Let's bring in uh, CNN's uh, Daniel Dale, uh, our resident fact checker, who uh, will lay down some facts here, spit some hard facts about, based on what we just heard from Donald Trump that might not comport uh, with the truth, they Mr. Might, Dale? They what, might not. Well, yeah, yeah. What, what do you got for me? Jake, it's a tradition now in these appearances I do after these post-court hearings for me to note that pre former President Trump said this is a Biden trial or this is a Biden indictment or Biden is the one who brought this case. I come out here and note correctly that that's not true. It's completely baseless. Again, for the, I don't know how many times I've said this, uh, this was a case brought by a locally elected prosecutor, Alvin Bragg. There is precisely zero evidence that President Biden has had any personal role in bringing the case. Uh, former President Trump keeps invoking former DOJ official Matthew Colangelo, who went to work for DA Bragg's office. There is no basis for any suggestion that President Biden personally put him there, ordered him there, etc. And then we have this laundry list of, of other claims. So uh, uh, former President Trump, you know, said he should be campaigning in various States, uh, perhaps he would have been. We can't, you know, check that hypothetical. But our Kristen Holmes keeps noting that even on the the off days that former President Trump has, he tends to not be scheduling campaign events. He tends to be at Mar-a-Lago on the golf course. So the idea that he'd be out campaigning every day he's in court, I think, is dubious at best. Then he repeated uh, a claim about uh, another case, the uh, Judge Ingoran uh, case, uh, where he says he keeps saying Judge Ingoran uh, turned down the appellate division, refused to honor uh, the decision. Of of, of the appeals court in the civil fraud case involving Trump, his sons, and his company. That's not what happened. And Gorin interpreted the appeals court decision in a way that former President Trump didn't like, did not uh, reject it. And then I'll just note that at the same time, a former President Trump said that Judge Mershon presiding over this case is rushing this case through. And then that someone said to him, I've never sat this long in court before. So he's simultaneously complaining, like literally almost in the same breath, uh, the judge is going, making this go too fast and also is making it go too slow. It's not really a fact check, but just wanted to note it, Jake. Well, it's like saying that uh, President Biden.